Assalamualaikum and good day every day, everyone. Okay, today I would like to show you the tutorial on Altis Mice. Uh, so you are able to run the simulations for the CMOS inverter for the DC categorizations. <clears throat> if you look at, at the schematic, you have to draw the schematic of CMOS inverter. This is my uh, proposed a schematic using Altus Mice. So, please make sure the bulk connection of BMOS is connected to VDD and bulk connection of FMOS is connected to GROM or VSS. So, you have to insert the SPICE model for level 1 okay, and then run the simulation for level 1 analysis. So, you may first assign the size of PMOS so as given in the class the size of PMOS much three times larger at least three times larger compared to MOS so I put here I put 12 micro and then I change the size of and most so I make it like uh, 4.5 micro so now you are already assigned the size of MOS and PMOS so please make sure you insert uh, the spice model in the spice directive for MOS and PMOS using level 1 parameters then, please make sure you also set the DC value for this example and of course this tutorial is dedicated for the DC analysis. So I assign V2 which is the input at 0 till 2.5 volt with increment of 0 0.2 volt. So VDD is set to 2.5 volt. Then now you are ready to run the simulation. So I close this one first. And then I run the simulations. Okay, if you look at here, we already have this um, the trace, yeah. So you just add the trees V out versus V in. Then you can see this is the uh, intersections we are showing the switching point or VM of this CMOS inverter. Then you can see this is 2.5 volt. You not ideally have to select the input high as V D D okay as being given in class you have to choose the slope for noise margin low and noise margin high so please make sure you choose your delicate slope and then you are there and actually completed your design so that is for uh, analysis DC analysis using level 1 MOSFET model okay how about if I don't want to see this figure I want it to run the operations okay so what I can do I run it already then I can select lock so I can see here this is the analysis okay all right so I skip that part so I run and I want okay show you the space net list okay this is actually the spice netlist okay we have uh, MOS and 
Optimus here and then you are able to check all this value is given so here is the spice block or we can call as a spice necklace so how can I show you how can we uh, run the simulation because this is DC yeah this is DC then put it uh, like this command it okay then you uh, also can assign this value as okay if you want to make a pulse signal so you can set the pulse signal here okay for this case I run to my five foot okay then I run the simulations then I show you this error lock so here we can see this is the lock part okay where is the bias point where is what is the current okay on id yeah the current is actually on m1 is given as five pico ampere okay because this is totally off circuit yeah because check here when 2.5 is given to the input and MOS is turned off and the MOS is turned on then we try sorry and MOS is turned on and the MOS is turned off so how about we try with zero zero volt and then again I can see the difference there look there's a difference where your ID now is raised up to 6.26 pico ampere. Okay, so this is how to differentiate which one is being turned on, which one is being turned off. Okay, right. So we back to the this is. I think you all of you are familiar with this tool. However, this is a new task for the CMOS inverter. Then, how about we try with level 49 MOS flat model. Okay. Then I run the simulation. Look. Okay, sorry. No analysis will be fine. So I have to put this in the spice directive. Okay. Okay, then run the simulation. Okay, what we can see here, okay, this is the analysis. Wait. Then what I can do, I just turn it off. And then make a new trace. So you may see the difference of the switching point compared to using low level one MOSFET parameters. So I would like to summarize the task today. Okay. You have to draw the CMOS inverter in LT spice and then do the DC sorry DC characterization then third um make sure um make sure But for both transistor are connected accordingly.
check the spice lock and make Okay, that's all. Thank you.